Kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well, I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe-looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. 
Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there, but if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place, especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece.
You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do to start with. Then we'll see. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. 
after a while they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. I want to see some ore first. Like I said. What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as a uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here. Most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. If I manage to get them without paying, I'll take as many as I can carry. You're all right. You should consider coming to the new camp. In case you go there, ask for Lars. He takes care of the new ones. I'm sure he'll have a job for you. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs>